This video explores how we solve equations using the balancing method. Builds upon other methods you have seen elsewhere, but hopefully goes to explain a little bit further how it all hangs together. So, we've got an equation 3x plus 5 equals 23. What we want to eventually find out is what is the value of x. Now, what do we end up with? The unknown, the x on one side of the equal sign, and the numbers on the right hand side of the equal sign. Equal sign means the two sides here balance, and that's what we must keep in mind all the way through. So, in order to get rid of the 5 from one side, what we're going to do is take away 5. Inverse of add is take away. If we've taken away 5 from one side, we take it away on the other side. Now, that's probably quite familiar so far. Now, what we're going to now do is we're going to total up what's on each side of the equal sign now. So on the left hand side we've got 3x and we've got a plus 5 and a take away 5. Well the effect of those is to end up with 0 and we won't put the 0 on this side. On the right hand side we've got 23 take away 5 which is 18. Right, the next step I'm doing the same to each side of the equal sign, is we're going to divide each side by 3. We've got 3 lots of x, we want to find out what 1 lot of x is, so we're going to divide each side by 3. Once again, we're going to work out what we've got on each side of the equal sign. 3x divided by 3 will give us 1x, which you're now pretty used to seeing is just written as x on its own. And on the right hand side of the equal sign, we've got 18 divided by 3, which is 6. So our solution to this equation is x equals 6. We're now going to extend this idea by looking at a situation where we've got an unknown, an x on each side of the equal sign, and we want to try and find a solution for it. So just as the other one, we'll start by subtracting 5 from each side because that will get rid of the 5 from this side. Let's again see how we do that using our totaling method. So on the left hand side of the equal sign we'll have 3x the plus 5 and the minus 5 end up with 0 so we don't bother writing that. Put the equal sign in and this side we've got 2x and we've got plus 12 take away 5 plus 12 take away 5 gives me plus 7. Okay, so now we can look at we've got the x's we really want the x's on this side so we don't really want the x this side so to get rid of 2x we'll take away 2x. Take it away from the right hand side we must also take it away from the left hand side so the two sides balance. Okay, now let's work out what we got having done that. 2x take away, sorry, 3x take away 2x will leave us with one lot of x. And on the right hand side, we've got 2x take away 2x, they cancel each other, that gives us 0. And we've got our plus 7. So x is equal to plus 7, or more simply, we just write it as x equals 7. We're now going to build even further upon this idea of changing the subject to a formula using the same method. Now, changing the subject, we want to make, in this case, we want to make t, which I'm going to circle, the subject of the formula. So in the end, we'll have t equals something. I'm going to find out what that something is. So again, we're going to use the balancing method. And on the right-hand side of the equal sign, we're going to start by subtracting u. And therefore, from the left-hand side, we also have to subtract u. And what's the effect of this? Well, let's total up each side. On the left-hand side of the equal sign, we'll have v take away u. On the right-hand side, u take away u is 0, and we'll be left with a plus a t, or simply a t. So what do we need to do next? Well, if this was numbers, I'm sure you'd be quite happy just to divide by whatever, if it was 2t, you divide each side by 2. So on this occasion, 
If we divide each side by A, because we've got A lots of T, we'll divide the right hand side by, by A, we need to do, divide the left hand side by A.